hello friends you are welcome to anchor network where you get updates of things that you really need to know i appreciate every one of you who has been part of this channel who has subscribed and as many that are still contemplating whether to subscribe or not i will encourage you to do that because i know you are not going to regret it at the end of the day please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon the bell icon is very important because if you don't click the bell icon you will not be notified anytime we publish any news and more so i have a gift for everyone or as many that are interested on how to build a website there is a website link in the description section once you open it there's a video that will teach you on how to build a website from beginning to the end thank you very much so let's go straight to the business of the day what I told Buari about Ushomole and Obaseki's fight since Oba of Benin. The Oba of Benin, Oba Uare too, has reacted to the face-off between the immediate past governor of the state, Adam Sushomole, and his successor, Governor, governor Godwin Obaseki. The monarch said he intervened in the feud, but the crisis escalated, adding that he had already informed President Mohamed Buari of the role he, Oba, was playing to end the fight. Obaiwaare too spoke when he received members of the House of Representatives ad hoc committee set up to look into the Edo Assembly crisis on Friday. The Oba said he was about to meet both men again when he heard about the committee. He said, like I told President Buhari that I have been talking to the two parties involved, Ushomole and the incumbent governor, on different occasions. I have invited both of them to discuss with them, but things are escalating too fast. I was still planning to meet both of them when I heard the House of Representatives has set up an ad hoc committee to look into the issue and I pray that you are successful in this task ahead. Abdurazak Nadams, chairman of the committee, pointed out that the committee was set up to investigate the crisis in the Edo State House of Assembly and bring lasting solution to the problem. Speaking with newsmen at the Benin Airport, he said, I am the chairman of the committee and we are here to do the fact-finding to meet with the honorable members stakeholders clerk of the house and all the people that are expected to be seen we are ready to see them today and then go back to abuja we have started the process already the committee has been given just a week we have met the governor of the state we have met with other members of the house of assembly and those states that are in abuja and we are going to meet with other ones that are here in Edo and the clerk. We are men of integrity. We are able politicians in our own right. We have track records to prove and men you can never question their character. Uh, guys, I, I believe that when two people are too close and they are so intimated and they are really close, as in you call them best of friends, any little misunderstanding between them, it escalates. And people might not be able to see in between what is happening, you know, between the two of them. And that is why you see that this is a issue of a Ushomole and Obaseki. Because two of them were like, you know, father and son, political godfather and son. Though Ushomole is denying that he's not trying to be a godfather to anybody. But everybody knows, everybody is aware that it was through Ushomole that Obaseki came in. They were so close, he projected him. For the fact that even people voted for him, but he projected him, you know, at least from the party. They were so close. So for them to be having this rancor, and initially they were really denying it that, you know, it's nothing like that. You know, just the work of a, a enemies, you know, trying to bring discord or to bring calamity or to bring problem into the state. But at the end of the day, they began to speak because they were hiding it. They began to speak and people, you know, they have their, their voice under them at different levels obaseki has his own ushimole has his own so i see no reason why they won't be quarreling in the first place because they are in the same party there is no strong opposition in that in that in that in that state that is even giving them his so they are even giving themselves his from the same party so it's really baffling and worrisome and more so for a whole being a whole bar of benin to have come into the matter to have intervened and yet none of them really want to shift ground that is to tell you there's something that is beyond what people are seeing or what people are perceiving. They know what they have done. They know why they are fighting and what are they really fighting for. I want to be the godfather or I want to be in control. I don't want you to be in control. Is that what it's all about? Or is it because they are fighting for the people or for the masses that voted them in? 
if you guys that are really leaders of the of the party or leaders in the state and you are the custodian of law and yet you are having this fracas how are you going to be governing the people and when in between you the party is not just moving forward there's just fracas the fracas really been you know been on for a very long time they've been denied but at the end of the day the oba obeni came in so nobody can deny that and most i believe that the politicians in that state they are not helping matter and i'm i'm sure most of them will be fueling the whole thing so that uh, it will be as okay we are the winning side we are we are on the winning side we are the one in charge and all of that because i remember a, all of them were together if i may put it all of them were under oshomole before oshomole finished his tenor and obaseki came in so now if really the politicians are really sincere they would have been able to settle whatever that has been happening between them instead of involving you know people from abuja let alone oba of Benin to be coming and be intervening and yes the oba has come and talked to them like he said he had invited the two parties and yes the thing is escalating too fast and that was the word he used that the thing is escalating fast and that means the oba himself is really fed up he's tired or he would be wondering that what could really be happening for the father he had called him in all in the olden days because these traditional rulers are, were the custodians of the law forget all this uh, democracy and all this uh, civilization and english uh, whatever that came and you know we are talking about democracy you have governor you have a uh, whatever who who are the people you know who will be talking when oba will be talking oba will call you and settle matter amicably you know between two people fighting or having quarrels and you will say you no one will listen you know he's not going to happen but everything is watered there is everything is just watered everything has turned upside down for you about to come in and yet none of them is trying to listen to what he has, he has said or what is he saying like he said that he was planning to even call them together to bring them in so that they will be able to settle all of these things but i believe that the people that are foiling these things are the politicians in that same state because they will be telling this one this one said this this one said that you know they, this one is trying to do you want to lord over you you are you are the one in charge so you don't have to give anybody chance for the fact that somebody projected you it's not a yasik that the person will still be lording over you that is where the problem is coming because if the people if the politicians themselves if they are really sincere they would have settled this fracas amicably among these uh, two gentlemen so let's see what how far this a uh, ad hoc committee let's see how far they are going to go if they will be able to bring them together maybe at the end of the day they will have to settle it at the national level at their party level but what we know and what we are saying is that there's something that is more than what people are thinking but at the end of the day it's not going to be more than power and the resources of the of the state and where do they put the masses at the end of the day, it is the masses that will be at the receiving end. What is what is going to be there again? Nothing. They will just be watching until they are fed up, until they are tired of whatever that is bringing problems among themselves. That is when they will not be, you know, ready to move the state forward or to let the people, you know, have the dividends of democracy. But with all these fracas, they are going nowhere. They are going nowhere. Even if there's no fracas, if we don't even see the tangible things that these guys are really doing. They are not even talking about, you know, the welfare of the masses. The whole place is just still the way it has been. What is the new thing that these guys are bringing to the table? What are the things that they need to do to impress the people that voted them in? The, the people of the of the state voted them in to be having this fracas. That is the question that even the masses are supposed to be ask, asking them. We didn't vote for you so that you'll be having this fracas. You are in the same party and you are having these problems. So what of if op opposition is giving you heat? What would you have been doing? What would you have been doing? We didn't vote you guys to be having all these uh, manner of things. The other time we heard that, okay, the Obaseki, uh, the governor was trying to probe uh, the some of the projects Oshumole did and all of that. We know how all of these things, how they play out. If you begin to have problem with your uh, predecessor, you want to go in and you know to dig us to be able to shame and you know name the your predecessor what he has done just because there's this kind of misunderstanding it's something that they would have been able to settle among themselves and for them to be having this fracas because they were so close the whole thing the video is in the public domain on internet when oshimole was going from pillar to post all over the state projecting uh, obaseki 
who would have thought that this kind of a thing would be happening among themselves? And it's a lesson for people. If you think that you want to help somebody, and at the end of the day, you want to, there's something that you are expecting from that person to do for you. You know, you might be disappointed because I'm sure Oshimole never envisaged that this kind of a thing will be happening. And it's so rampant among politicians when you serve as a godfather, even if you are not saying it, but you are serving as a mentor to somebody. I want to project you. Okay, after my tenure, this is the person that I want to occupy. This is my position. At the end of the day, it doesn't go well. We have had a lot of experiences, a lot of incidents like that. So I think people should be should be wise and should, you know, should, 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 should be able to reason fast ahead. You don't help people because you want to gain something back from them. If you do that, you'll be so disappointed. And that is what is playing out. Because Oshomole would never have thought that this kind of a thing would be happening. If he had known, of course, he wouldn't have projected Obaseki in the first place. So, guys, that is just my own opinion concerning all of this. Oba has done his part and yet they never listen. Let us see what this hard hoc committee going to do at the end of the day. So, guys, I would like you to leave your comment below in the comment section. Let's rub minds together. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>